Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome to August readings, August energy. And this time we're looking into your career and finances. Speaking of this matter or this energy, everything related to your career or your finances, nothing related to love or anything like that. So keep in mind, if you are looking specifically for this energy, you are in the right place. As well, we are going to bring the strongest, the biggest, the highest energy of all. Either you have a job or you don't. Either you are a business owner or an entrepreneur or just someone with great ideas. Let's see, darlings. Of course, my resonate with many of you. And might be just one storyline or could be more than one. Let's see, loves. August energies for you. And I believe Mercury retrograde starts in the beginning of the month. More likely around the new moon in Leo. So keep in mind, darlings. And we do have a full moon in Aquarius. That definitely... It's a great time to think out of the box. And the Leo speaking about the sun energy. Sun many times warm up things, but also can burn things. So be careful, loves. Underneath, we do have four of wands. Four of wands, definitely, it's a great energy to encounter, to feel. Also, four of wands is kind of happiness into your home. There's another thing here for some of you. If you want to purchase a home, now will be a great time to put your offer or to just go and hunt homes. For some of you, you want to move into a new place. Now is the time. Also, Four of Wands speaks about harmony into your home. Convenience, good energies here. And for some of you, if you are struggle lately or not, there is improvement. Let's see more. Lovers, for some of you, definitely there is a contract, sign, and the world. Wow, absolutely. Ace of Swords. Wow, definitely here it is a contract. For some of you, this contract could be a business contract. For others of you, it's... Um, a home contract, um, a work contract, Ace of Swords, here it is. Clarity in regards to the situation for some of you. Page of Swords, if you are looking for something, you're looking for a job, looking for some type of contract, because having the Lovers and Ace of Swords definitely here, there is a contract, and with the world and Ace of Swords, this is closure. Closing a contract, business contract, a home contract. So it's a great month, especially for those things. Some of you might say, well, it's Mercury retrograde, how I can do that? I feel here, this is not something here. Some Sagittarius just start. Because Mercury retrograde might not be great to start things, but it's great time to continue things. Negotiation, if you already been in this such energy continue doing it because i feel here there's certain things here because mercury retrograde it's a review of situations review of energy another thing here it's like a recap a reconsideration of something but i definitely see here for some of you if there was any delays now it's coming in Whatever it's meant for you, Ace of Swords, clearly there is something new, completely new. We have the Page of Swords and we have the Hierophant. Wow! Definitely, again, Hierophant and Ace of Swords speaks again about contracts. Signing contracts. Looking for contracts. For some of you, if you want to go study somewhere... Definitely a great time. 
Queen of Swords. For some of you, might talking here with um, an advisor of some kind. What should you do? What should you go? For some of you, it's you who advise someone here. But I definitely see here it's a great time to put and practice things you used to. But I definitely see here a lot of communication coming in. For some of you, there is an air energy around you that are will advise you for for those of you who are into hunting something hunting a job hunting to to sign a contract or move somewhere or do something there is a person here is gonna help you either with an advice either they are very well knowing whatever you are looking for for some of you this queen of swords it's you I look towards it, I know this works, I'm going forward. Very positive energies here and with the Wheel of Fortune there is definitely success in whatever you're looking for. Wow, couldn't believe this for many, many of you. You are definitely moving forward. For many, many of you, if certain things here didn't work financially, you are moving away from this financial struggle because five of uh, pentacles five of wheel i uh, close up one of my candles and one of my candles it's still here for many of you and it's still burning as you see it and for many of you you'll see me dark with the with the hands for many of you a uh, time in your life that you struggle it's over it's over okay whatever here you've done whatever here you struggle for it's over five of pentacles ten of pentacles so whatever here hardships eight of wands news coming in again for some of you definitely are a situation in your life that was really hard or felt hard it's over eight of wands six of wands you overcome something beautifully six of wands speaks about success whatever here is need to sign a contract is gonna get successful there's a lot of success in your career in your finances let's see more seven of swords for those of you who are dealing here with some um, enemies, this are gonna go away. Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups, and Two of Wands. For some of you, yes, there is a person here that try to get in your way. Whoever they are looks like a friend or friends of friends. So don't believe just everyone, it's your friend or everyone, it's your person. But yes, with the Seven of Swords, it's not necessarily bad here for many of you because you are getting out. You're running away from a situation. If you want it here to get away from a situation, definitely a decision it's made. If someone here got in your way and tried to, to make you somehow, they they can't they can't ace of cups there's a new beginning loves and king of wands so something here it's gonna leave you a situation here could be even a person who always try to get in your way or to to not let you to move forward well it's it's kind of like something here is gonna come to them seven of swords Speaking up the timeline, seven and nine, which we have the, the 16. So mid-month, mid-month is very, very strong. We do have a full moon, however, on the 19. So, but I definitely see here the, the 15, 16, it's very, very strong. Or the, between the first two weeks. Let's see, what's the seven of swords here? Ten of Swords. Whoever here try to get in your way, they will get back whatever they try on you and even more. 
King of Swords, yes. Somebody here might want to come and pretend certain things, but it seems here that it's too little too late. For others of you, if you were quite into getting better or moving to a better energy, you know clearly that whatever here hardship was is over. There's a new beginning here, darlings. Whatever this Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords moves to the Ten of Cups. And then we have the, the Ten of Pentacles here. The Ten of Wands is missing, which a uh, hardship or a period in your life that was very hard, it's ending. Again, I feel here there is a there's a new opportunity coming in. There is new finances coming in. Whatever here you you work hard is gonna come, is gonna bring to you a new beginning. If you decided to to move away from a company or let go a job situation, you know you've done the right thing. And for some of you, no, in business there is no friends. Nobody is your friend, especially related to your money or to gain the money. Because I feel here for many, many of you, good things start to show up. About this decision here with the two of wands, moon, eight of swords, hermit. You've been thinking for quite a while what you should do. Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, yes, this is about your job. And it seems here more likely as you move, whatever here starts in the beginning of the month, but ends in the Virgo season. Six of Cups. And Knight of Cups. A new offer. Beautiful offer comes in. And for some of you, probably don't really wait or not looking for much out there. But it's there. It's coming. And someone here, again, whoever here try to get in your way, loves, they will move away. For some of you, there is someone here at your job. Always try to do things, blame things on you, you know, mistreat you. They will go away. For some of you, you literally will witness a person being fired. Because somebody here definitely are going to go. It's kind of somebody here will give up for doing things here. Look at here, Six of Swords. I feel here, for some of you, just feel like why some people will do this. I have the Six, Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten. And I have also the Ace of Swords. Truth is going to come out. Clarity is going to come out in a situation. For some of you, again, if someone here pretended to be your friend and stab you in the back, I feel here they will get what's theirs. The Nine of Swords here, Death, as I said, some of you, they are, have a big change out there. For some of you, it's you ending a cycle that you've been overly thinking. High Priestess and Six of Wheel, Six of uh, Pentacles. A situation here that you were mistreated or you you had a hard time to to get up ten of wands this is over and three of pentacles it's kind of no matter what you could do nothing was really working or not really was moving forward now that it's over 
five of swords, two of swords, four of cups. Somebody here will wish to not even get in your way. Seven of cups and the star. Like they will not even realize when you are going to get to the point where you are going to get probably a better job. Somebody here actually, whatever they tried to get in your way, made you a favor. And it's kind of a favor that you didn't even ask for with the star here. But I feel here that, you know, the universe definitely bless those who are the best. It seems here a uh, mystical energy here. But sometimes people actually help you then get into your way. Wow. And look at here the devil. And I feel here for some of you not only the, um, the white light, the angels, but the under the dark powers and the light powers are helping you. What are you doing in here? Okay. What else? Judgment. Again, judgment is the, um, the justice. Justice served. As I said... In this uh, deck, the judgment, it's an angel. So many, many of you, there is higher powers that come in and make things right for everyone. Temperance. Three of Swords. The Devil. And the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning here, loves. We have the King of Cups here. We have a new beginning here. But this is um, a very strong new beginning with the devil on the side. Again, as I said, the, the higher powers, the dark powers and the light powers are helping you. Page of Wheels and the Emperor. So whatever here is, it's kind of push you into something that you you were just either looking on or let's say, for example, you were looking for getting a job, just a simple worker, but somebody here gives you a job as a manager, as a CEO, or even put you as a partner on their business. There's something here, whatever here you are asking, it's giving you big with the emperor here. And again, this is a very beautiful blessing in the sky for many, many Sagittarius. One advice. Again, we have all the tens out, which that really speaks that a situation here. It's set. It's over. And something here comes new and gets quite big. Okay, advice for my Sagittarius in whatever they do, whatever they try to. Strength. Know yourself. And also know that you can do everything you want to. And always, always, you've been guided by the spirits. No matter in what you truly believe or you don't, but I feel here you definitely have a very strong higher power. And it's kind of like go with compassion into this new journey. Because you know it's to your own best. Nine of Wands. You fight for this new beginning. You needed this new beginning. The only nine now, it's Nine of Pentacles. You fight for this. And it's coming. Nine of Wands, Ace of Wands. Wow. And we do have here the Ten of Wands somewhere. And the Justice. Seven of Wheels. Took you quite a, a long time to, to get in this place or in this energy. But indeed here, 
justice is served, but something here is going for good. Whatever that is, with the justice, it's kind of like, you know, there is no way something to not go for good. So it's a very powerful uh, month for many Sagittarius and not only. And know that whatever new beginnings here, whatever new energies come in, are meant for you. Very strong. And Spirit says it's like this is just the beginning of all this new chapter. Wow. All right. And you're beginning that it's stable, that is grounded just for you. Love and light Sagittarians, I thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope these messages are benefiting you or guiding you, helping you. And if it is, let us know as well. Say loves. Bye for now.